So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my iPad on the screen and I'm going to kind of show you how to record an iMovie. So you can record an iMovie or you could just do it in the camera app, but I'm going to show you how to do it in iMovie. Okay. And like I said before, I like to kind of, and because it's on the appraisal, chunk into digestible bits. It's on there somewhere, I know it is. So, if you break your videos into different parts, you can do it where you do the whole project in one video, or you could do part one, part two, part three, part four, or however many parts you need. I like to do the different parts because it keeps the videos to under about five minutes of video, and then that way the kids don't lose attention when they're watching it. Plus, I don't want to give them more than they can actually get done in one class period. Now, if you're more middle school, high school, your situation might be different. With it's a little different for middle and high versus elementary. Your kids might be able to go back and reference the videos on their own. My kindergartners can't, so I just do it. We do it differently. Okay. Is it working? There it goes. So on the iPad, you could, if you wanted to, just go to the camera and make a video. Then it saves it to the photos, and you can totally do it that way. Or, if you go to iMovie, you can, in iMovie, make a new video, hit the plus, go to movies. Depending on what version of iMovie you have on your iPad, it might look a little different. If it's, not up, if it's not the latest one, then you hit create movie. And you can see these are all the movies that are in my photos. But I'm just going to hit create movie down at the bottom. And then all I have to do is over here, there's a little camera. You tap the camera. It also tells you what to do here, but you can tap the camera. And then you can record. So I'm going to put this over here. I always record landscape, not portrait. That's just my preference. I think it looks better that way. I think I have maybe one video. So now what I would do is I would say, oh, I got all this clutter in my background. I don't need this stuff in here. So I would want to move all these things out of the way because they're, dis they're distracting. Now, if I don't want the chairs, you see how you can see like the chairs back here? I can crop that out later. So then I would take my piece of paper I'd put it here, and I'd do my recording. I'd hit record, and I'd record it. And then that's basically it. Now, I don't do the voice when I'm recording. I do it later. Because as you're recording, and you're doing your demo, by the time you're done, you may say to yourself, oh, I have 10 minutes of video that I just recorded. My students don't need to sit there and watch me draw the same circle 20 times on the piece of paper. I can kind of go in later and edit some of that out, which we'll talk about after we do our video recording.